Also tonight, tensions rising between the United States and China. The PRC knows precisely what this was. Uh, the PRC knows precisely why this was in our airspace. Threats are being made with both sides inflating the reasons for blame. Right now on Current News, a superpower standoff. China's foreign ministry spokesperson said the government will, quote, safeguard its legitimate rights and interests after the U.S. shot down a suspected spy balloon, while relations between the United States and China continue to deteriorate. As Ivan Rodriguez tells us, as crews are evaluating the balloon's debris, a second one has been spotted over Latin America. U.S. Navy divers, along with unmanned vessels, are working to recover debris from the suspected Chinese spy balloon shot down over the Atlantic Ocean on Saturday after it made its way across the continental U.S. Some critics say it took too long for the Biden administration to shoot down the balloon that was seen floating across the U.S. for days. Were we confident there was not a nuclear weapon uh, in that payload? Were we confident it wasn't carrying biological weapons, pathogens, or toxins. But others, including defense officials and the White House, say it was necessary to wait until it was over open water, since the amount of damage it could cause on the ground was unknown. Well, there's just immense intelligence value in having this thing brought down over water where we can salvage it in a more, hopefully, complete fashion. Meanwhile, China is urging calm and called destroying the balloon an overreaction, maintaining it was a civilian research vessel. At the same time, they acknowledged on Monday that a similar balloon floating over Latin America is theirs as well, claiming it was conducting flight tests but deviated from its course by mistake. While this latest act of suspected spying will have diplomatic ramifications between Washington and Beijing, the Pentagon says it isn't the first time. During the Trump administration, at least three times, these observation balloons transited uh, the U.S. territory. Ivan Rodriguez, Currents News. Catholic lawmaker Congressman Chris Smith of New Jersey is ready to take a stand against the Communist Party. He said, quote, it is long past time that we as a nation have a more frank and sober conversation about the challenges and the costs of a strategic competition with China. Communist dictatorship that brutally abuses, tortures and kills its own people cannot be trusted or appeased. A way to spy amid rising tensions between two countries. You may think I'm still talking about the balloon, but actually I'm referencing an incident with a U-2 spy plane. It was a tense moment in 1960 during the Cold War. The Soviets shot down the U.S. plane with ground missiles, which surprised the U.S. To cover it up, the White House said it was a plane to track weather. But when the Soviet premier showed the wreckage and captured pilot, President Eisenhower apologized and suspended future flights. And while all of this is going on, lawmakers are turning up the heat, saying time is up for the social media platform TikTok. The reason? Its connection to the Chinese government. Republicans and some Democrats in Congress want a national ban on the app. Legislation is already being pushed. They're concerned it can access data on Americans and persuade them on some political topics. And the director of the FBI says TikTok poses, quote, national security concerns. Let's break TikTok down by the numbers and show how dominant it's been in the United States. The app has been downloaded 210 million times. There are 138 million active monthly users, and the age group of Americans that use it the most are between 10 and 30 years old. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.